Hi, I'm going to show you a very easy way to speed up your internet and make it a little bit more reliable. And we're going to do this with your command prompt. And this is all about uh, an option in your computer called TCP Auto Tuning. And this is in Windows. And what it does is it kind of uh, automatically controls how much data you can download or how much da internet data can go into a specific hardware device, but that's not so important. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to take the Windows abilities and take the automatic option on it because a lot of routers and a lot of firewalls don't uh, configure with your TCP auto tuning option. So, uh, what you need to do to do this trick is to go into your command prompt. And, but you're going to have to do this with the administrator level. So what we need to do is go to Start, go to All Programs, go to Accessories, and then at the Command Prompt, right-click and choose Run as Administrator. Okay. Hit Yes. Now, once the Command Prompt is up, you're going to need to type in a certain command line. And what I did was I already typed it out here so you can take a look at it. And here is the option for you to disable TCP auto tuning and you just need to copy and paste this command line. I'll put it in the bottom in the comment box so you guys can easily copy and paste it. It shouldn't be a problem. Another two commands are just to check your global parameters and TCP global parameters and if you didn't like what this option did to your computer you can always just go ahead and re-enable it and this line here is going to re-enable it so once you copy and paste the disable command line go back to the command prompt right click and paste and now you see the command line is there and all you need to do is type I mean hit enter and you're gonna see the option right under where it says OK so now that's disabled and that should speed up your internet uh, if you need any more help about optimizing your internet please check out uh, the comment section below I'll leave a few links and uh, you can always go to www.delete-computer-history.com hopes that helps guys thanks